Hello everyone! If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris and I'm a full-time web developer working remotely. Today we'll talk about how to find a remote job since a lot of you have been asking me that question. I will talk about where to look for it, what skills you need to have, and overall the pros and cons of working from home. I will focus on software developers, but if you are a UX designer or, for example, project manager, some of my tips will be helpful to you as well. If you're working in the office as a software developer, you might be able to negotiate with your manager uh, to go remote for at least a few days a week. I personally started working in the office as well. I worked at the office for a year and then I was able to go full-time remote because my company let me do that and I'm really grateful for it. I created a list of top websites to look for remote work. A lot of you have been asking me for it, so now you can finally check it out in the description of this video. If you have any good suggestions that I haven't mentioned, please leave them in the comments. Here for example, on just remote website, you can filter jobs by technologies, which is really convenient. And here I'm just showing that a lot of companies ask for a personal website link. Working from home has a lot of advantages, but also some disadvantages as well. So let's talk about them now. By working from home, you can actually save money because you won't need to pay for your gas and you will not waste time on the commute every day. I like working from home because I'm able to work from comfort of my own home. I get to set up the desk the way I want to. I get to work from the couch if I'm tired of sitting at the desk. I get to have my favorite snacks anytime or order from my favorite places nearby. And another really good advantage for me is that I can cuddle my pet and my family members anytime I want to throughout the day, which is amazing. Because I work from home, I don't have to dress up every morning and do my makeup, which saves me a lot of time. And I'm also able to have my own schedule, meaning I can work out anytime I want to, pretty much, um, except the times I have meetings with my team. So those are definitely are really good advantages, in my opinion. Now let's talk about disadvantages of working from home. And of course, the first one would probably be the lack of social working life meaning you won't be able to talk to your colleagues uh, as often as you want to unless they're open to do often phone calls um, another thing is that if you need help you can't really get help immediately unless somebody jumps on the call with you or they respond to you immediately via messages but i don't think it's a big problem because usually uh, at least in my team everyone is pretty responsive and doesn't make me wait long, so this is definitely nice. If you're an extrovert, you might feel like you're missing out by working at home all day by yourself. So you, you might be able to fix that by going out more often right after work or work from um, shared office spaces and other places like that. But I feel like if you really have a problem with that, maybe it's best for you to work from the office. Here is a second voice inside my head. You can find remote work as a full-time employee or a freelancer. Both of them have advantages and disadvantages. For example, if you're a full-time employee, you get perks like uh, health insurance and 401k, uh, as well as stable environment and expect a paycheck every time. And if you're working as a freelancer, you get to have your own schedule and work on exciting projects that you get to pick. However, you won't have health insurance and other perks that full-time employees get. Another question I get often is how to find a job when you are located outside of US but you want to work for a US company. So I don't have a lot of experience with that but I think there are two options. Uh, first one is uh, a company can hire you as a contractor and you deal with your own taxes in your country. And another option is a company might sponsor you for US visa and pay for your moving expenses um, to the US. Now let's talk about how to optimize your chances of getting the interview for a remote job. Of course, first thing is making sure that you have a great resume, a really nice portfolio website, and a good um, GitHub profile. 
I made a video about personal websites last week, so check that out if you are looking to improve your own portfolio. You need to develop and showcase your remote skills, and one way to do that is having contributions to open source projects, which is a great plus, and a lot of companies um, prefer that. There are also some hard and soft skills you must have in order to succeed a remote job. For example, you should be able to organize your time well and be independent to work on projects on your own. You should be able to explain your ideas and thoughts to your teammates with no issue through messages or through a phone call. You should know how to use project management tools like Miro, Notion or Trello. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and let me know in the comments if you are looking for a remote job or maybe you already have experience working remotely.